Did she consider you was a very young, young nun at the time? She was working down at Thai, and she did an awful lot of good work in the local hospital there at the time. She met a lot of, as she could term herself, men of the roads, and um, where she learned a lot about their history and learned that a lot of them were displaced people. Um, and then she just, she started working with them, and she started working out of the back of the convent down in the Thai, literally in the sheds out of the convent, um, where she used to help them and feed them and chat to them and talk to them. But I believe in staying with simple living. Keep it simple and uh, profound. We'd like everybody to take their mask, uh, take the pen and the piece of yellow paper and make a mark on the paper, a symbol, a word or a picture to um, document how you have felt at a time in your life when you have been faceless, when you've had no one to turn to, when you felt judged, all those things. That, that feeling, if you can recall that feeling, anything that was said here tonight that rang a bell with you at a time in your life when you felt on the outside, on the fringes. them as druids who are coming to, to the city. They're coming to, to the city and they've been expecting that that's still a forest or nothing has changed for ages and suddenly they're getting into this place which is completely modern and out of their world. So they're very surprised. Um, they're not scared but in the same time they've never expected anything like this. So it's something similar like us going to the moon now and being surprised over there. On December 7, 2008, Ghana's democracy, regarded by many as one of the most promising in Africa, held its fifth multi-party elections since 1992. The stakes were high and analysts looked to Ghana to show whether African states could hold credible ballots after violence and claims of fraud overshadowed elections in Kenya, Zimbabwe and Nigeria earlier in the year. about Carlo, uh, how they feel about relationships, about how they're accepted in the town, how they accept other people, things like that. And, and all of that really creates a nice community vibe, which is what this project really is about. 